Welcome fellow friends of photonic fields. In this video, we will simulate a small photonic integrated circuit with waveguides and couplers. Similar chips are subject of current research for photonic neural networks and are very interesting due to their low energy consumption. Some of them are already commercially available, like the ones from Light Matter. The basic building blocks of these chips are waveguides, phase shifters, and couplers. Here you see two waveguides in blue which are coupled at two places by running close to each other. The evanescent field transfers energy to the other waveguide in the coupling region. The length of this region and the wavelength of the light define the coupling strength. The two simulations show how the same geometry can result in different splitting ratios depending on the wavelength. Note how the energy is routed differently through the setup. In photonic ICs, such couplers can be used to split and recombine waves to build small max sender interferometers. At the combining couplers, the energy is routed depending on the phase and amplitude of the incoming waves. By adding a phase shifter to one or more waveguides, one can control the interference to produce different energy routing patterns. Let's scale the photonic circuit up and simulate an entire interferometer mesh. On the left, eight coherent light waves form the input. The light waves are all in phase, so the first coupler has no effect. However, the following couplers transfer the energy back and forth. Let's change to the light intensity visualization, where the energy distribution can be seen more clearly. Overall, not much is happening in this circuit, but it's a good reference for the following modifications. In this next simulation, random phase shifters are added in several places. In the previously mentioned neural network accelerator, such phase shifters encode the network weights. The photonic IC then applies these weights to the signal encoded in the phase and amplitude of the incoming light on the left. Mathematically, the circuit implements a complex linear transformation of the input vector, which can be represented as a complex valued matrix. Note how the light distribution within the network and on the output differs from the previous simulation. In the final simulation, the eight light sources on the left transmit a binary time-varying input signal, which is then processed by the circuit. In a real chip, the result of this computation would be extracted by measuring the light intensities on the output ports on the right, using photodiodes.